So you guys are gonna have to bear with me a little bit. Uh, it's kind of hard to find these watches in really good condition, so you're gonna see some scratches in this video. Hey guys, it's Alex with Hammond Watch. I'm here today with a pretty interesting Seiko diver. It's the SKX A61, uh, otherwise known as the Orange Knight. Uh, I don't see these pop up for sale very often. Uh, I feel like they're relatively rare. If you have any insight as to uh, the duration of, of the production or the numbers, please leave a comment down below so we can all be a little bit more educated on the watch. Uh, but anytime I, I see a Seiko diver, uh, I get pretty excited. They're some of my favorite watches, especially when they don't use the, the gold tones as accents, uh, and especially when they're a little bit tricky to find. Um, I love the sizing on this particular watch. It's a 42 millimeter case or, or 43.5 if you measure on the crown guard. Uh, you're just under 14 millimeters thick. Uh, you have a 52 millimeter lug to lug and a, uh, a 5.75 millimeter screw down crown providing that 200 meters of water resistance. Uh, and while you get drilled lug holes for easy strap changes, you're not gonna find a, a ton of straps because the integrated lug meets the case at, at 15 millimeters. So uh, a little bit tricky. I, I feel like whenever this happens, uh, the watch is typically pretty short lived. Uh, being a big Seiko dive watch fan, I like to swap in straps, even if I like the bracelet on a watch. Um, and not being able to do that on this is a little bit of a drawback, uh, although I don't hate the bracelet itself. Uh, it flares up to 24 millimeters before tapering down to 19 and then back up to 20 at the buckle. Uh, typical, it's a, a fold over two button deployment with pressed hardware. Uh, kind of not typical is the end link that meets the, the clasp itself. Uh, it's very large and flat. And this is actually really nice when you're pushed into the micro adjust because there's no wiggle or play at all. It sits in very well. Um, you also get a, a little bit of a, a dive extension here on the other side. It's not the, the best execution I've ever seen, but with a dive watch where you don't have strap options, uh, I think it's kind of a, a necessity. Uh, the case back is typical Seiko, uh, Tsunami and basic specifications. Uh, the watch houses a, a 7S26 movement, so much like the other SKX watches. Uh, no hacking, no hand winding, 41 hour power reserve, and accuracy tolerances uh, of minus 20 to plus 49 seconds a day. As you'd expect from any Seiko diver, the LumaBright application is incredibly well done, giving you fantastic low light and darkness visibility. I really enjoy the gripping on the 120 click bezel. Uh, it's very pronounced and kind of an interesting design. Uh, unfortunately, this being a little bit older of a watch, the bezel itself on this one is pretty stiff. So it needs to be removed, cleaned out, get a new gasket, and, and then reinstalled. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be the guy to do that, um, but uh, I've certainly enjoyed my time with the watch as it is, even with its minor flaws. Uh, the Harlex Crystal does have uh, quite a bit of wear, but tracking down a crystal is never really too hard. Uh, especially once you get it out and can get calipers on it for a good measurement. Uh, I like the typical kind of Seiko SKX hands done in black. Uh, your indices are, are a nice polished finish, which plays with the light very well. Um, All together, I think it's a pretty handsome watch. And again, anytime I can find a Seiko diver with an or orange dial, I'm typically a pretty big fan. So here's the watch on my seven and a half to seven and three quarter inch wrist. Um, all things considered, it, it wears really good. Uh, you know, I'd certainly love to be able to swap in straps, uh, but at the same time, if you're stuck with a bracelet, you, you just hope that it's a comfortable one. And that aggressive taper means that you're not losing any mobility on the underside, uh, but it's big enough to really hold everything in place up top. If you guys have enjoyed today's video, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. It, it really helps us out a lot in YouTube's algorithm. Uh, also consider subscribing. You know, we're doing watch videos weekly at a minimum and uh, I hope to see you in the next one.